family fun and above all. This is what it should look like when you put on the mask. They a small portion on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <laughs> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database. database. So they can detect a predator a mile away. Mm -hmm. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Pretty much. Uh, now that being said, no new system is without it. You're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week with complaints about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, let's keep right. Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seem to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So, while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that... Yeah, who's so moving? When it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So, so you're telling me the logic is that if I make a lot of noise in, case, in the main room, room, like I put a speaker out there, the animatronics won't come for me? That doesn't make sense. Over by the and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up Honest, for Honest, hold seconds. on. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that off. If you wanna go pro at this game, stay on this camera. That's, that's what I need to do. I need to do, like, tips on how to beat certain levels. That would be cool. No, shut up, phone guy. I don't want to listen to you. Just no hate on phone guy, though. Yeah, basically, you just want to stay on this cam. Yeah, I will do be doing a mini-series on how to beat each level. and But I have to beat... I need to finish the game, so... If you want me to play through the whole entire game and try to beat it and get all the achievements over again... Hit the like button and subscribe and comment down below, because I will. If you guys want me to. Because I don't want to do it and no one watch it. I only want to do what you guys want me to do and what you guys will watch. But yeah, I mean, this, these games aren't really that hard. Like, the first few nights... Oh, yeah, there's Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie! What's up, mate? I love how they added in the walking stuff. That's honestly really cool. Yeah, it would be kind of cool if you could see them climbing into the vent. Be cool, like you see them crawling up, and then it like it like flashes like this, and then it they appear. That would be a cool update. Also, we need a FNAF VR multiplayer game. You know how freaking fun that would be. They had it like an idea, like tag, like flashlight freeze but it never worked out like I don't know what happened to it is right there. Hi Chica or hey Kentucky if you know what I mean you know what I mean let's get the dub bro I don't know how long this episode will be probably around like 20 minutes probably since this is I don't know I'm hoping it's not though I'm just kidding all right no one cares yeah if you guys really do want me to complete the whole game and show you all the levels I didn't show while streaming then 
Hit me we up. We hope you're enjoying the Fazbear Virtual Experience. Please be aware that there may be visual artifacts left behind from the beta testing phase of development. If you see any such artifacts, we recommend that you not interact with them. We'll weed them out eventually. There's no guarantee that we'll weed them out eventually. Hmm. Well, yeah, but did I ask? Yep, we have the tapes. I don't know why Glitch Trap isn't showing up. I don't know if that's like a glitch or coincidence. Oh, there he is. Hey, bud. It's been a while. Hello? Can you hear me? Don't exit this room, okay? This isn't a mistake. This room Exit? Don't mistake. exit the room? Too bad, I'm exiting. I don't care about the tapes, because I've already listened to all of them and all that junk. The problem is that this game... Oh, there you are, buddy. Hey. It's been a while, hasn't it? Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I like Glitch Trap. He helped, he helped me through the game. I pleaded to him to let me pass. Um, while I was beating the final levels that I had to beat, I was su I was stuck on this level, which is the Nightmare on it level, and I pleaded to him to make the game easier. And I told him I promised him that I would um, uh, I would do the like bad ending where I would let him consume my soul, or whatever, whatever. So yeah. Wait, did I, I don't actually remember doing the other ending. Oh no, I did, because I got the plushie. Yeah. Alright, uh, on to FNAF 3. And then I think I'm going to end it off there. Yeah, FNAF 3 and FNAF 2 are like the easiest levels. For me, personally. It might have not been easier for other people. Catches on fire. fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you, then past you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as, as the security, security guard. guard. So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, Hi. you know, to make sure so no one feels anything, anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really There's a wall here. here. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings. Always nice. I forgot where the and little the like panel head, was. Which we There's somewhere. Could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan. Very old school. Metal though. So watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. Uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, we don't have something really cool by next week, so we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, Brr, I don't want to be a furry. Uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down... A I'm kidding, though. Right if, now, if FNAF uh, was real and I got a job there the uh, to be a um, like an extra room to suit performer, I would do. I would become a furry like instantly, so not even tap in. But re on regular terms, I'm not going to become a furry. I, I don't like furries, honestly. If you're a furry, that's okay. Just don't do anything bad. FNAF 3 is pretty easy. Basically, all you do is just sit here and look at the cameras and 
do the audio things. Next night is where it gets interesting. You gotta deal with Springtrap and Phantoms. Honestly, I do... Since you might think that they can't make any more VR games about the main series anymore, I would like it if we got standalone FNAF VR games. Like, I do want a FNAF VR 2, like FNAF Help Wanted 2, where they make more levels. Like, it'd be cool to have a FNAF 4 level, like, game. A sister location game. Well, I mean, someone, a fan person already made a FNAF sister location VR. I can't play it, though, so... Yeah, because it's not PlayStation. I mean, my actual games. Stuff, not actual other things. Um, well, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this FNAF Revisited. This is just also hype for the new game, which is coming out later this year. Thumbs up. Um... My boy Glitch, he's not there. That's sad. So yeah, in the next episode, I will be doing for night, night two, night two on this, night two on that, and then I might play this level and then do the other stuff. You know, let's, let's finish off with Bonnie. Actually, I might not be able to do this. My VR um, cannot be cool in my room. Welcome back oh God, to parts and service. Oh, freaking big oh no, he is. it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Great job. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done. Home's now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. I forgot, is there... There's only two coins in here. Oh, gosh. Give me a sec. I'm trying to... Come on. I know, i got to hit my bed just to grab the freaking coin. Yo, VR. Let me grab it! Got it. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Come on. I don't mean to do that. Come on, let me grab the coin. Thank you. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate, and we'll call it a day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. So it goes this one. Okay. Okay, my phone's right here. Move phone. There we go. Well done. We that it. concludes your parts and services task. See you next time. That. I don't want to do that. I don't want to lose at the last second. Okay, that is stressful. Uh, coincidence? I think not. Get out of your bonnie bar. I don't want to eat your bonnie bar. Or bunny bar or whatever, uh, whatever it's called. We went to great lengths to create an authentic VR experience, including using scanned photographs for reference and using original performance routines where applicable. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys next episode.